All right, all new tonight, the U Street Quarter in D.C. was once known as Black Broadway. Yeah, and now a new, new development aims to preserve that legacy. At the corner of U and 14th Street, the Frank D. Reef Center is being redeveloped into a hub for arts and entertainment. And that's our DC News Now's Daniel Hamburg joins us live. And Daniel, affordable housing is also a really key piece to this puzzle. Absolutely, Chris and Tasmin. This area has a lot of history in it, and a lot of people were essentially pushed out when things were built up. Now the district is stepping in, and they want equity, be, equity to be at the forefront and bring people back into town. U Street was once home to more than 300 black-owned businesses. That made up what was called Black Broadway. I have never knew that Washington, D.C. ever had a black Broadway. But the history and cultural identity have faded over the years. From a African-American cultural and historical perspective, this is a very important corridor, the U Street, 14th Street corridor. Charles King is one of the developers working to redevelop the Frank D. Reeve Center. The project includes a hotel, permanent home and headquarters for the NAACP, and municipal office space. Local venues like the Viva School, uh, the Washington Jazz Arts Institute, um, Carla Hall and Dave Chappelle, both, you know, um, D.C. Uh, residents coming back and having entities there. For locals, it's a fine line between breathing new life into the area while trying not to price people out. The black people have ran away from the neighborhood because they can't afford the taxes. So I hope, it, you know, the tax racket can be different, that they can come back and afford housing once again. King says that's the plan. We're envisioning approximately 322 housing units and over 100, about approximately 120 of those will be affordable housing units. Anything that can bring some more energy to the community is, is great and welcome. King says this corner will set the stage for a positive change. It will really, you know, transform what at night is, you know, sort of a dark corner. I think it will really enliven it and transform it and, you know, electrify that whole area. Now, the district is still working to find office space for those people who are still working out of the Reeves building. Developers hope to start construction in 2025. We're live in Northwest. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.